the question goes like this. When one has hyperparathyroidism, the parathyroid is overactive, you end up with high blood calcium. She wants to know, is it, is it okay to use strontium? Now, st when we talk about strontium, we have to distinguish that there's dietary strontium, maybe 10 to 30, 40 milligrams, the, the amount you might get in your water supply or your food. That is a very natural low-dose strontium. That is generally always acceptable. It's like a food factor. Then there's a strontium in very high dose, like 650 milligrams strontium citrate, which is used as a drug, actually, a strong medication. It's, it's a much more than you'd ever, ever, ever get in the diet, and it's used to promote bone health. At the Center for Better Bones, we don't really endorse high-dose strontium because while it will build bone for a while, the minute you stop it, you're going to lose everything. We prefer to get to the problem and solve the problem. And high-dose strontium is a little bit of stress on the kidneys because you're passing lots of strontium through the kidneys. And so um, in regards to if you have an overactive parathyroid, I think I would attend to that parathyroid first. I certainly wouldn't use high-dose strontium. I would use a supplement, like some of the supplements we use here, have low-dose strontium. That's perfectly fine, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 milligrams. But I wouldn't use the high-dose strontium, or I wouldn't use the drug strontium, which is called strontium renolate, or the strontium citrate in about 650 milligrams.